Hello, good morning. How is everyone today? You know what? It is a miracle that we all woke up today healthy, wealthy, and wise. Let's say yay to God because God is a God of miracles. Boys and girls, let's pray. Let's look up, let's look down. Dear God, thank you so much for waking us up this morning. God, we thank you that you do things in our lives each and every day. That is a miracle. And we want to say thank you for it. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for instructing us. Thank you, Father, for all that you do. And we want to say thank you for our special Bible person that you gave us to have as an example of your miracles. In Jesus' name, amen. Boys and girls, do you know something that happens that doesn't make any sense? There's no reasoning. You can't explain it. What is that? You just don't know how it happened. That's what you call a miracle. Yes, a miracle is something that happens that no amount of human Reasoning could explain why it happens. And today, we're talking about a special person in the Bible named Tabitha. Tabitha was an amazing lady. She loved God and she showed all of his people so much love. Do you know what? Tabitha made clothes for people when they didn't have clothes because she was such a good person. Well, I'm not gonna tell you anything else. Let's join Callie. Callie is gonna tell us everything about Tabitha and Peter. Let's watch. Hey, 
friends, I'm about to go to bed. I've had such an awesome day, but I am pretty tired. What is your sleepy time routine? Mine is brushing my teeth so they can be sparkly and white and then read a story and pray. But tonight, I want to include something really special in my prayer. Oh, I'm too excited to sleep. You want to know why? Why? Shh, we have to be quiet. I got a package today. It was a big brown box. Can you guess what was inside? What? It was a telescope. A telescope is used to look at things really far away, like the stars. So I made a plan to sneak over to the window in my room tonight and look up at the stars as I pray. You want to come with me? Come on. God, thanks for how amazing you are. Look at what you made. Amen. Oh my goodness. Friends, I just saw the most incredible shooting star. It was amazing. It was stupendous. It was awesome. Did you see it? No. Oh man, something that incredible and I didn't get a chance to share it with my friends. I mean, it's really cool to see something like that, but it's much cooler to share it. But how can I? I'm gonna think about it while we check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Acts, chapter nine. There was a woman named Tabitha who was incredible. She spent all of her time obeying the teachings of Jesus and helping those in need. Sadly, she got sick and died. Tabitha's friends were very, very sad. As they were taking care of the body, they heard that Peter, a close friend and follower of Jesus, was coming to town. They went and got Peter and told him all about how awesome Tabitha was. Peter was also very sad that Tabitha had died. He told all of Tabitha's friends to leave the room where Tabitha's body was Peter got on his knees and prayed. Then he turned to Tabitha and told her to get up. Can you imagine? Peter told her to get up like she was just taking a nap or something. But she did. Tabitha got up. She was alive. They were all very, very happy. They could have kept this miracle to themselves, but they decided not to. Instead, they told everyone in town. Everyone found out about Tabitha coming back to life. Peter stayed for a while, and many people believed in Jesus because of this story. Those who saw Tabitha come back to life did something that we can do too. And that is, we can share the stories of God's miracles. That Bible story gave me a great idea. So I asked my parents if I could have a slumber party. That's when friends come over and spend the night. And my parents said yes. I invited a couple of friends and I think they're here. Here they are. Let's go. First, we made popcorn. Then we watched a movie. Then we had the most epic pillow fight of all time. And then I asked them to join me by my window for nighttime prayers. We prayed and then took turns looking at the night sky with my telescope. And then we saw a shooting star! It was so cool to share it with them. And you! God is so cool. And he does such amazing things like shooting stars and healing Tabitha from our Bible story. The coolest is that we can share those amazing things with everyone because we can share the stories of God's miracles. Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. Bye! So, I know all the books of the Bible. What? You know all the books of the Bible? I know all of them. How do you know all the books of the Bible? Because I say them all the time. I say them all the time. I wish I knew all the books of the Bible. You know what? We will all know our books of the Bible if we say them every day. Are you serious? Yes, I say them at breakfast, I say them at lunch, 
and I say them after dinner. <laughs> how do you say them while you're? How do you say them while you're eating lunch? <laughs> after lunch, silly. Oh. Well, let's try them. I'm going to teach you the books that you don't know. Okay? Okay. Here we go. Repeat after me. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Genesis, Lexicus. No, 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 no. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Numbers, Deuteronomy, and Joshua. Numbers, Deuteronomy, and Joshua. Judges. 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 Oh, you all did great. Now we know those. Let's say them together. Are you ready? Yay! Yes, here Yay! we go. It's so exciting. Oh. So take Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Numbers, Deuteronomy, and Joshua. Numbers, Deuteronomy, and Joshua. Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel. Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel. 1st Kings, 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles. 1st Kings, 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles. Hey, boys and girls, it's time for the memory verse. And it comes from Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 8. Then I heard a voice from the Lord. Who shall I send? Who will go for us? And I said, here I am, send me. That's us, boys and girls. Remember, boys and girls, Isaiah 6 and verse 8. Then I heard a voice say from the Lord, who shall I send? And who will go for us? And I said, here I am, send me. All righty, wasn't that awesome? Callie did such a good job of sharing the experience of Tabitha. I mean, she died and Peter brought her back to life. That was awesome. Boys and girls, what are some good things that happened to you? Can you tell me what God has done for you? Any good things that God has done in your life. They're miracles. We might all have experienced and not experienced a miracle like Tabitha, but we've still experienced God's miracles because God is so good. And he wants us to share those miracles with other people just like Tabitha shared her gifts. Boys and girls, I'm ready to share a miracle. Mm, let me think of something good that's happened. I know my sister is going to have a baby and that's a miracle, right? What miracle do you have in your life that you can share? Think about it. It's been so much fun talking with you all today and sharing the lesson with you. I look forward to seeing you all next week. Let's pray. You ready? Look up, look down. Dear God, thank you so much for the miracles that you put in our lives. Thank you, God, for the examples in the Bible. And God, we thank you that you are such a good God. You are a God that is more than enough. Thank you for all the wonderful things you have done. Thank you that you remind us to share stories of your miracles to encourage all of our friends. Nothing is impossible for you, God. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. I can't wait to see you all again next week. It was so much fun this week. Um, did you all get your Cali dance down? I want you all to learn how to do the Cali dance, the Cali, Cali, 
dance. Can you do the galley dance? Bye-bye. See you later.